All right, guys, so uh, I've been riding with this now for the past couple days, and tomorrow, or maybe this afternoon, my bike will be going away, uh, being put into storage. So I wanted to show you guys uh, basically uh, how it works and uh, all the things that I've kind of found out and figured out since I've gotten it. So let's let's begin, shall we? Okay, so again, number one, this gets uh, hardwired to your battery. Now, the cables are plenty, plenty, plenty long, which is good. Um, now, the auxiliary cable, depending on where you're hooking it up, you may have to extend it. So that's the cable that's going to go uh, to an, something, something on your bike, like your lights or a, a 12 volt. Or in case of my bike, it actually had an auxiliary uh, cable ready for something to be plugged into it behind the fairing so we had to take that off but that allows this to start and stop with the bike so uh, that that's kind of cool now before before we get into that like i see like i haven't tucked it all in but like i said lots and lots of cable right first thing uh this comes with dash cams which are awesome uh, and when i mounted this guy right here um and I had turned on the actual dash cam on the on the monitor. It was upside down. And what I didn't realize is that the camera, this camera, can spin. And you will see on it there's there's a little arrow, and this is top. So basically, you just loosen this like GoPro mount type thing. It's got like a Torx or something. Uh, it comes with it to loosen this. You can spin this, and you just want to make sure that little arrow is on the top. So I had to do that on front and back. But now. All, all gravy now the back one uh, I had it upside down and then when I took it off uh, to loosen it to spin it uh, I won't stick anymore so um, it's hanging there and I, I have to go to the store to just get some more some more sticky tape but that not not a big deal all right and let's let's go on the bike because now you'll probably want to see what uh, this thing is actually like and I'm hoping you guys can see it okay because of my reflection. We'll kind of turn it over here. Uh, turn my bike, you can see it's off. I'm gonna turn my bike on, click. So far so good. There she goes. Anyways, as you can see, my camera is good. And my back camera, it's close to good. Uh, it's just not really pointing in the right direction. You can actually see if I stand my bike up. It's not horrible. Oh, my CarPlay just started. So it will connect to your CarPlay. And just while we're here in CarPlay, um, of course, CarPlay, Android Auto, and you got to make sure you have a phone that supports it. But it moves really good. I've been using it the last few days. I'll put clips up here too uh, with uh, um, on a few rides that I've done in the last little while. So everything runs good. If you have a message come in and you want to have it, it'll actually read it to you. Now, audio wise, uh, what I've actually done is my uh, motorcycle has Bluetooth on it, so my I connect my audio from my phone to my Bluetooth, and then uh, it car plays. So my phone doesn't send audio here. I'm guessing it could. I haven't done that. I believe if you have a headset, you can Bluetooth it that way too. It is something that I will try in the in the, in the future. But everything works good. It works great with gloves. I was a little concerned that the screen was going to be a little small that with gloves it would be hard to hit but no everything everything's fine um so yeah that works that works like a champ and you can come in here and you can be like flip flip them around so you can see whichever cameras etc now i do have the tire uh monitoring system uh on there so you'll see right now my front's at 40 39 my rear's at 42 um i may have to take a little bit of air out of the back tire but we shall see go back here and this is probably the main screen uh, if you're going to set up you'll see little things like your display brightness you can have it on auto which I do uh, brightness do you want to touch touch tap I guess start up which screen do you do you want a background screen so you can be like I want that color there's not a whole lot there uh, and download it does have its own like Wi-Fi so you can connect it to a Wi-Fi and check for updates which is cool you can reset the unit you can set your time so if you wanted to come in here you got all your time settings right now mine is accurate I've done I've done all this so just make sure the time is accurate set your language uh, you'll have features 
Now, features is where you and I come in here to kind of connect things. So this is where you would come to connect your TPMS if you had it. This is where you would come, I guess, to connect, yeah, connect to your to your headset. So this will connect to your phone, your phone will connect to your headset. So it kind of goes through and shows you how to do it. Uh, RC, I'm not even sure. I'm not sure what RC is. I don't, I don't know. Oh, remote control, because these guys actually have a remote control that's optional that you can get for it. Uh, same thing here. When a vehicle approaches in your rear view blind spot device, it'll emit both audio. You can turn that on too. You can do voice voice alert, you can calibrate it. And this may be something that I turn on. Speed settings, I, I want it probably when it's over this speed, because when I'm going slow, I don't necessarily care, right? But you may not want it to be alerting you all the time. Voice, calibration lines. Yeah, why not? We'll try it out. We'll try it out for a little bit. I got one more ride to put the bike away tomorrow, so we'll figure it out. Um, and that, and that's that's kind of this setting screen, right? And you will see that it is recording right now, just in case you weren't aware. Uh, it does come, as far as I can tell, at least mine did. It came with, I think, a 32 gig uh, SD card. Oh, it says, please take a break. Prolonged driving activity. There's somewhere in here, and, and I'm not 100% sure where this happens. I don't, I don't really know. Um, meter. This is kind of neat too. So it will show your speed. It will show your uh, direction. So what what your compass, I guess. It shows your tires, your tire temperatures. It shows your voltage. It shows your altitude uh, and time. Now, I don't know. I thought, because this is CSS 12 hours and four minutes. I just, I just turned this on. So I get the four minutes, right? Because yeah, we've been on for about four minutes. That's accurate, but I, I'm not understanding. I'm not 100% sure how to set this back to zero or it just, I don't, it's gotta be a setting somewhere. I just don't know it. Um, of course, video takes you into the video settings. Oh, there's all my grid lines and stuff like that now. So you can say when a car comes into these sections that there, there's something there. Okay, I think I like that. Yeah, yeah. This is, this would be, I think, important just to kind of configure, right? Just to make sure everything's where you want. And uh, of course, this is gonna take you into your Apple CarPlay or your uh, Android Auto depending on what you want. Now on this screen here, again, you do have the ability to tap on uh, some of these. This is your trip and see, it says 87 hours. Maybe I can, can I tap that? Tap and hold? Aha! So now it, you tap and hold that and it resets. See, I'm learning as I go. Cause it said you've been riding 87 hours. You should probably stop. So that's, that's kind of nice. Uh, this again is gonna be your compass, which is cool. And this is gonna say your tire pressure which which it all is right there. Uh, now the big thing here is you can see I have my sensors. Uh, this is your low pressure and your high pressure. So you can set those so if it goes below a certain number, it'll kind of flash and warn you on the screen, it'll ding. Uh, and then you can also set your high. So I have mine set to 45 right now, uh, Celsius, and I have it to PSI, but you can set it to barometric, I guess it is, I'm thinking, I don't know, uh, back. So that's cool. Um, this thing is, this thing is, awesome it really is i i love it i've been using it like i said for the past couple days and it's it's really good now it does have the ability to uh connect to the chi chi app and as far as i can tell with the app i thought the app would have a whole bunch but really the app is designed to uh preview and download video files from the camera so but other than that uh, i think if you guys are interested in this and want like one unit that does it all this is the one so I'm gonna leave you guys there, and uh, it's fantastic. You'll you'll see a lot of me using this next year when uh, when the riding season starts back up again. And you can see here, right? I'll turn this off. Yes, turn off my bike. Now my ignition is still turned on, but see, turning off. Oh, so good. That is so good. All right, guys. There you go. And and I have my phone just mounted right above it, so easy access to both, which is cool. All right, guys, this is the Chi G uh, AIO 5 Lite. I love it. I do. I love it. All right, guys, we will uh, see you next video. Probably not motorcycle related because the bike's going away. All right, guys, I'm out. Later.